What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Golden XP farm. This works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. By the way, this is an improved version of my last Golden XP farm. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a ton of gold, as well as a ton of XP. For this farm, all you'll need is 56 obsidian, 49 glass, about two stacks of solid blocks, so you guys can use any solid blocks that you want. One slab, five trap doors, one lava bucket, 16 observers, four pistons, two levers, two chests, one dispenser, one minecart with a hopper, one hopper, one rail, two water buckets, one trident, and finally, one sticky piston. By the way, guys, if you don't have a sticky piston, that's fine, because this farm will still work without it. The first step is to take some solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want and build three up. Then extend this out until you get it to a total of 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then take some obsidian and just cover that. Then build up 15 blocks high. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're just going to connect the rest of the portal. After doing this, you guys should have a 15 by 15 block nether portal. The next step is to find out which side of the portal that Pigman will spawn on. To do this, I recommend that you come down to a corner and place two temporary blocks. Then come over here, place an observer, make sure the eye is facing this way, and place a dispenser, make sure it's facing the portal, and place a water bucket inside of it. Now just take some temporary blocks, place one over here, one over here, one over here, then place two over here, and break this block. This will catch the water, then come over here and place another observer. This should cause the water to start toggling on and off, then take some flint and steel and just keep trying to relight the portal. Relight it until you see a pigment spawn. As you guys can see here, I saw that a pigment spawned on this side. So now I know that I'm going to need to create my water collection system on this side. Once you guys have done that, then you can just break this little dispenser system that we created because we won't need it. The next step is to go to the side of the portal that you saw Pikmin spawn on. Then place a temporary block over here and place another solid block and just extend this all the way out. Then you're going to go to one of the sides and extend up four blocks. One, two, three, four. And just do that once more. The next step is to take some glass to create a glass wall. You're going to want to extend the glass wall all the way until you get to these last two blocks. After creating your glass wall, it should be looking something like this. Then you're going to come over here and just plug this all up with blocks. It should be four blocks tall. Next step is to come behind the portal to the side opposite of your glass wall. Then you're going to place down a solid block. Make sure it's one block above the bottom. Then extend this out until it is a total of seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then come over here and place down an observer. The eye should be facing this way. Then come over here and place down five more observers. Make sure these observers have the eyes facing this way. So one, two, three, four, five. Then take some more solid blocks, place two over here, then extend it all the way across. Then place three solid blocks over here, another three on top, and just extend this all the way out. Then take some more solid blocks and build this. After you guys have made this little enclosure, then you're going to come inside, place down a trap door over here and open it and keep doing that until you get to the end. In the end, there should be a total of five trap doors. Then take one lava bucket and just place it in the center. The lava should flow all the way across. How this system works is that the observers constantly update the lava, which then constantly updates the trap doors to keep the portal always lit. The next step is to come over to the front of the portal then come over to the side that's opposite of this little square cube and place two solid blocks and place down a water bucket. The water should flow all the way until getting two blocks before hitting the edge. The next step is to break these two blocks over here. Then extend two blocks out and extend two blocks this way. Then place a block over here. In the end, you guys should have a little two by two space in the center. Then you're going to take a piston, place one piston over here, then place one piston over here, place one piston over here, and one piston over here. 
Make sure you guys place these pistons in the correct orientation. After you guys have finished placing the pistons all around just like this, then you're going to take an observer, place one, make sure the arrow on top is facing this way, and place one, make sure the arrow is facing this way towards the next piston, then take one, have the arrow facing outwards, then place another one, and make sure the arrow is facing towards the next piston, and place one facing this way, and one facing this way. Once again, the arrow should be facing the next piston. And finally, come over here, place one facing this way, and then one facing towards the last piston. Now you're going to come to the front, take a lever, and place it on this piston, and flick it down. This should cause the system to turn on. If it stops at first, just flick it up and down a couple times. Then, just flick it off. After doing this, you're going to take some solid blocks, place one over here, one over here, two over here, one over here. Then place a glass block over here, then place a slab right over here. This slab will allow you to collect all the XP. The next step is to come in front of this glass block, then dig down four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then dig out three blocks forward. One, two, three. Make sure the ceiling is three blocks high as well. Then break these two blocks, then place down a double chest. Then crouch down and place a hopper. Make sure it's funneling towards the double chest. Then crouch down and place a rail on top of the hopper. Then place down your minecart with a hopper right on top. This system will collect all the loot. I recommend that you also place a solid block over here just to make sure the minecart with a hopper never moves. After you guys have done this, I recommend that you come over here and just place down four ladders. That way you can easily access the collection system in your, of your farm. The next step is to come up here and just break this block. Then take the trident and throw it at that piston. Then just place the block back. Now, flip this lever to test it out. What should happen is the trident should get pushed. Just like this. This will cause the pigment to automatically get killed. Where you, so that you can automatically collect all their loot and all their XP. Next step is to come to the back of the farm. Then, come to the corner. Place three blocks like this. Then place two blocks. And then break this block over here. This little system will catch all the water. After making this, then you're going to come over to the front of the portal and come inside. Then break these two blocks. Then take an observer and place it down. Make sure the eye is facing this way. Then take a dispenser and place it down. Make sure it's facing towards the portal. Then take a water bucket and place it inside. The next step is to come over here and place down a sticky piston. Then place down an observer. Make sure it's facing this way. Then take a lever and place it down. If you guys want to turn off the farm, you can easily do that by just flicking this lever. Then to turn it back on, you can flip this lever again. Now I'm going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, just make sure you flip this lever so that the piston is retracted. This will cause the portal to start toggling on and off, which will start spawning pigmen. Then make sure you also flip this lever to turn on your trident killer. The trident killer should automatically kill all the pigmen. As you can see there, they're all getting killed. Pigmen should constantly spawn every second. They'll come through, fall in the water, and get pushed into the trident killer. To collect the XP, you can just stand over here, and you should be able to collect it all. And if you want to collect all the loot, you can come down here and get it in this chest. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this super simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Golden XP farm. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.